Lee, one of the best players in the country, the reigning Big Ten Player of the Week, will serve here. Brizak will set for Hammond. On the line, Indiana playing strong early on. Up 5-3 as Fogg subs out for Bierman. Indiana cuts the deficit to two. Bierman, Carlini goes for the push kill. A genius move from the Badgers. Already three kills on the day for Carlini. That's just a veteran. Wisconsin trying to close out this set. Tallman will set up as Dow. Confusion on the Badgers side leads to the Hoosier point. Indiana capitalizing there. Down to six now. Down five after that McDonald block. And they're doing the solo. Uh, they're doing solo. Asdell, that's just her first kill of the day, getting on the board there. Back to Michigan, that's Cole over to Indiana. Brizak, McDonald, the whiff, but she makes it work. She's got a smile on her face. She knows she got away with one she there. 10-8, Indiana, their largest lead of set number three. And another short serve, and another service ace. Brizak is serving now. Coming into today, her career high in service aces two. She just had two in a row. Right. Tallman will set up, Beerman, oh, the power! And Clark can't handle it, Indiana three away from the victory. Beginning to pull away just a bit, leading by a second and a tenth. Got to grow up in Bloomington, he's a native here, what they call townies or cutters depending on your lexicon. Depends who you talk to. And got to grow up just watching Mark Spitz, getting trained from him. Who better to learn from? Exactly. <laughs> uh, seven gold medals in one year back in 72. One of the greats in swimming history, a Hoosier alum, and Irwin with a 50 yards to go, a chance to make Mark Spitz proud. On Bauer, the Indiana diver can win it with 59 points here. She's attempting a 2.8 degree of difficulty. It's a forward three and a half somersault tuck. Perfect. Splash was small, execution was great. Let's see what the judges are saying. You couldn't ask for a better dive from Bauer. This King touches the first of four walls. King with an incredibly quick turn off the wall. That's what she's best at. The best in the world at this event for a reason. As she heads towards the halfway point, leading by far more than she did yesterday, ahead by more than a second. Intention on their feet. Cheering Peroni on, who's taken a bit of a lead, but has a great turn. Swung on in a great play made by Lacefield. No runners advance, and Reed is out on a laser throw from Lacefield, the freshman. This Who one does? hit by Metzger, and it's going to get in there, and coming around to score will be Cheek. Kentucky takes the 3-2 lead. At second, Indiana trying to catch Cheek. Can't do it, though. Kentucky scored just one run over the course of the first five innings, and since the sixth, they've scored four. Opening up that lead that now stands at three and could be more after this. Metzger hit and almost the play by Blitz, but a run will score. She can't quite get her glove on it. So the double for Metzger and 6-2 now Kentucky. Blitz almost. Kyra Buss driving through traffic. The layout from the left-hand side. 30 to nothing. Buss already with six. Cahill with 11. The wick where stops her triple, gets it into Royster. The layup on the right-hand side. Three points possibility, 32 to three. Being the North have the ball. It'll be Thomas taking it for three at the buzzer. Air ball, that's it. The first quarter's over, and it might as well be the game. 35-5, Indiana 